stand, and deliver. Who in NXT will start to cement their own legacy? Oh, yeah! Who will stand and deliver? WrestleMania weekend, you'll stand, they'll deliver. Trick, you got so caught up in these headlines that you pushed your own boy to the sidelines. Mello, I had your back, and you stabbed me in mine. No doubt, Williams is looking to whoop that trick. During the biggest weekend of the year, the superstars of NXT stand and deliver. Who in NXT will start to cement their own legacy? Oh, oh yeah! Who will stand and deliver? WrestleMania weekend, you'll stand, they'll deliver. Trick, you got so caught up in these headlines that you... Then... together. And now, WWE presents Countdown to NXT Stand and Deliver. A journey that began in Tampa, Florida at the Royal Rumble. It's made its way around the world to Perth, Australia, traveled back into the States, visited over a dozen cities, and it all leads to this. Oh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and you are looking at the Wells Fargo Center where NXT Universe is filing in. We are ready to launch into WrestleMania Saturday. So glad to have you with us here on Countdown to NXT Stand and Deliver. I'm Megan Morant, joined by the Lord Sam Roberts, and also our very special guest, Ariana Grace. And oh. Ariana, I'm telling you what, can you feel the energy inside this building? I can, and they're just so excited to see me. Can you feel it? <sighs> I, I, Thank you. I think that is part of it, and everybody is excited oh, yeah. to see NXT stand and deliver it. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to Peacock. That's where oh, you're gonna yeah. catch all of the action coming your way today. But Sam, an opportunity for history to be made. History will be made tonight, because we're in Philadelphia. This is WrestleMania Saturday, the biggest WrestleMania of all time, and we count down to the beginning of WrestleMania Saturday this afternoon with Stand and Deliver. Everybody has been talking about our main event coming your way at oh, oh. NXT Stand and Deliver. We have been waiting for a long time to see these two former friends battle it out. I'm talking about Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams. And earlier today, this is the man who put NXT on his back and led them into a new generation. Carmelo Hayes has business to take care of tonight. Carmelo Hayes brought NXT in, but Trick Williams is leading them to the promised land. He looks to knock him off his throne tonight. And this is what it's all about. Carmelo's been your A champ, your NXT champion, but it's not about that today. It's about taking on his former best friend, Trick Williams, and settling some business. And let's not forget about the brutality on the way. A triple threat match for the NXT North American Championship. Obafemi defends against both Josh Briggs and Dijak. Well, they overcame five teams to get here, and now Nathan Frazier and Axiom have the chance to prove 
themselves where the lights shine the brightest as they take on the champion, Ron Breaker and Baron Corbin. And how about this massive six-woman tag team match? Thea Hale, Fallon, Hanley, Kaylani Jordan team up to face JC Jane, Kiana James, and Izzy Dane. The NXT Championship is on the line. You talk about psychological games. These two sum that up pretty well. Ilya Dragunov takes on Tony D'Angelo for the title. You're not gonna have to wait until lunchtime for action because here on the countdown to stand and deliver, Sean Spears goes one-on-one -on -one with Joe Gacy. For more than a year, Roxanne Perez has been obsessed with climbing back to the top. Today, she has the chance to do so, but first, she must dethrone the women's champion. Breakout tournament winner, Iron Survivor winner, women's tag champion, women's champion. Perez has realized the dream of a lifetime. I am the most decorated woman in NXT history. A lot can change in one year. That sweet, innocent Roxanne Perez is no longer here. The prodigy has said she's not the same person who walked through these doors. My title was taken from me. Taken from me. All these situations that have cost Roxanne Perez were outside of her control. That is what has been building for months for Roxanne Perez. The only thing that's on my mind is my championship and stand and deliver. This is in the almost moment! It was so naive. No longer someone to be pushed around. She's become unhinged. I'm finally getting my one-on-one -on -one match. Lola Vice executing her championship contract. This is now a triple threat match. Bronx. There's Tatum Paxley. There's no disqualification. Lyra Valkyria still has the gold, and if I was Roxanne Perez, I would feel aggrieved at that. After Vengeance Day, that's when I realized that the only way I was going to get what I deserved was by doing it my way. one taking that ride in that ambulance. In every story ever told, there are two paths you can walk, the wrong path and the right one. When the pressure is on, the lights are the brightest, Lyra Valkyria delivers. And everything changes when you reach the top. Lyra Valkyria is our champion as she continues to soar. The road to becoming NXT Women's Champion makes or breaks those that walk it. This just shows you how damn good Lyra Valkyria is. When given the choice between right or wrong, that's where Roxanne and I hit a crossroads. Roxanne Perez was beaten for this title. The minute she couldn't climb the ladder to retain it last year, it's Dan and Deliver. Ava, get out here and give me the title that I never lost in the first place. She's here! Valkyria with her arm in a sling, bringing the fight to Perez. She's injured. Bad move. Roxanne Perez is out of control. Me and Roxanne stand and deliver and make it for the NXT Women's Championship. Lyra, you got it. You and Roxanne stand and deliver. Women's Championship match. You want to know the difference between me and you? While I win, all you do is bitch. I've got a whole year of rage built up inside of me. And at Stand and Deliver, I'm gonna let it all out. After Stand and Deliver, you're gonna have a whole lot to bitch about. For 163 days, this is what your NXT Women's Champion has looked like. But today, she has a tall task. Look at the confidence on Roxanne Perez as she walks in to the Wells Fargo Center to win back what she says she never lost the NXT Women's Championship. Well, she says that, but is it necessarily true? And we heard Lyra Valkyria call out Roxanne Perez on Supernova Sessions earlier this week. Seems she did 
sort of lose that title because Indy Hartwell climbed the ladder okay. to okay. retrieve the title last year at Stand and Deliver. Everybody has a bad night. You're talking about one ladder match, multi-person. It's very difficult, okay? Roxanne Perez has been entitled to a rematch for that NXT Women's Championship that she never lost for some time, and tonight's the night. You know, she may have lost the NXT Women's Championship justifiably or not, but I think the best thing that she did was she lost her smile. She's got her attitude. I mean, Ariana, don't you think that that's what a champion needs? I would just like to take this opportunity to thank the NXT Universe and the WWE Universe for awarding me with the title of Miss Stand and Deliver. Thank you. I know I deserve it so much. Uh, you do deserve this, but I want to talk about another title, and that's the NXT Women's title. Tonight right. that Lyra is defending against Roxanne. Roxanne has been completely relentless throughout uh, since the last year yeah. on her way to this matchup at Stand and Deliver with, with, with uh, Lyra Valkyria, but she will do whatever it takes to leave Stand and Deliver with that title. Is Lyra ready for that? Well, to be honest, looking at that video package, all I could remember was the pain on my face when Roxanne Perez slapped me in the change room. Ooh, so I know that she's kind of crazy, and I hope Lyra can step up her crazy because, as I've seen in pageants, you have to fight crazy with crazy. I've heard that that's the only way to really win. I mean, look, Lyra has to be willing to do whatever it takes. Megan, you're a marathon runner, right? I am. Are you willing to do whatever it takes? How many marathons have you won? Well, I've run Well, 12. that's the difference between competing in a marathon and winning. You have to be willing to do whatever it takes. And if Lyra wants to walk out of here still NXT Women's Champion, she's going to have to put Roxanne Perez down. Sam, how many marathons have you run? I don't compete. If I were to run a marathon, I would win. I'm sure, sure you would. Sam, let's get down to business. Who's going to win this match? I think Roxanne Perez's change in attitude has been exactly what she's needed to do. Mm -hmm. Tonight, she wins the NXT Women's Championship. Ariana, I think we're all the winners here, enjoying Stand and Deliver during WrestleMania week. Thank you. But the match, this the specific... Ma well, the NXT Women's Championship won't be the only title on the line. The NXT Tag Team Championship will be defended by the Wolf Dogs, Braun Breaker, and Baron Corbin against a team that's been so hungry. Nathan Frazier and Axiom, they overcame five teams to get to this point, and now they have their opportunity where the light shines the brightest to capitalize and take home gold. Sam, they've asked for this, they've wanted this, they've earned the right to be in this matchup. But have is this a situation where you have to be careful what you wish for? Well, you have to know what you wish for. I mean, last week on NXT, Nathan Frazier and Axiom were able to get to the place that they've been trying to get to for a very long time, winning this triple threat tag team match against two of the best tag teams that have ever entered in to NXT. What they want is the opportunity on the biggest stage that NXT has to offer. They've got that. Unfortunately, the team that's looking across the ring from them is the Wolf Dogs. And the Wolf Dogs did not show up to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, did not show up to WrestleMania weekend to not walk out still NXT Tag Team Champion. Ariana, it seems each and every week the Wolf Dogs get stronger and stronger. That chemistry has certainly come a long way. How careful do Axiom and Nathan Frazier have to be? Well, everybody wants to wear the crown, but there's always first runner up. And that's the thing. They may want to take home the championships, but somebody has to lose this match. And honestly, last week, their outfits weren't matching. Ooh. I mean, what do you mean, ooh? I feel like it's really what maybe not on the same page. I mean, we have seen make? Baron Corbin and Braun Breaker get on the same page. Axiom and Nathan Frazier, are they there? Or Sam, are they just happy to be here? No, they're not happy to be here. It's amazing, you know, because I doubted Nathan Frazier and Axiom at first, and I think a lot of people did. And what those two superstars did was prove everybody wrong. They had to defeat every tag team in the division that wanted this opportunity to get this opportunity. I think they're way more than happy to be here, and they're going to fight with everything that they possibly have 
to win this match. I mean, they have one of the most un incredible offensive styles on the entire roster. Their Go style last week was offensive. No, I'm not well, talking. I'm offensive. Well, and, and this is the difficult part because Baron Corbin and Braun Breaker, you talk about styles, and they're prepared for just about everything. You have well, Braun and what he can do with the spears, and you have Baron with all of that experience. How can Frazier and Axiom combat that? I believe you have to believe in yourself in order to achieve anything. And they already believe in themselves enough to be here. And they'll be stepping in that ring and hopefully they can keep that confidence that they've earned throughout the past few weeks and do their best. Well, you will know right away what you think based on what they are wearing. But Sam, I would like to know your pick. I think they're gonna have to do a lot more with all due respect than believe in themselves. No matter how much you believe in yourself, when Braun Breaker is running towards you with his shoulder pointed at your gut, you're going down regardless of your beliefs. I think we see it again. The Wolf Dogs have captured the imagination of the NXT universe. Tonight they go home with the Tag Team Championships, still. Braun Breaker has had a very busy, busy couple of months yeah. doing double duty with Friday Night SmackDown. Is that at all gonna come into play no, and I'll be tell a distraction? You, no, because he's not that busy, you know why? It takes him about seven seconds to win his matches. It'd be one thing if he was out here having Iron Mans. Braun Breaker tears through people. It's what he does. The fact that he's torn through a couple more people probably only helps him. Well, speaking of tearing through opponents, nobody has done that better than Oba Femi, oh. your North American champion. Yes. And he will defend that title in a triple threat matchup. He asked for this against Josh Briggs and Dijak. You talk about brutality. You talk about big. Men, this is exactly what you're going to get in this North American Championship match. The confidence oozing out of Oba Femi. I don't know that I've ever seen a newcomer in NXT exude that much confidence. He asked I'm for this standing to be right here. I lose so much confidence. She Everybody can see it. Everybody can feel it. That's why they're here. She is confident. I, I, I understand this type of confidence, but I think it, it gets kicked up a notch when you are defending the North American title in a triple threat match against guys the likes of Dijak and Josh Briggs. We've seen what Dijak has been able to do on premium live events in NXT. Remarkable. And, that's, and that to me, I mean, you said it best, Obafemi asked for a triple threat match. When you're talking about a triple threat match, not only are you in a situation where, where the championship's advantage is thrown out the window, but now you've got two different opponents that you've got to deal with. That's the type of challenge that Oba Femi is looking for. He thrives off of challenge, and tonight, he's got one. I would be really upset if I was in a triple threat and someone lost my title for me. I don't know. Yes, I don't know what I would do. Well, and this is for Josh Briggs. He's a changed man. A very new Josh Briggs. His first opportunity to capitalize under the bright lights where the entire world will be watching. How can he take advantage of the triple threat rules? Well, he has really good manners. Josh is, Josh is wonderful. He has great manners. He always holds open the door for ladies, which I feel like a lot of people don't do that anymore. No, yeah. and, and I really think that it's important that we have good values as a society and, and we share love with each other. No, you're right. Thank you. You're not wrong. Manners are important. But some, I know. But something you have to keep in mind is you look at the people that Oba Femi has been against. We saw him destroy Dragon Lee, but... He's not in there with Dragon Lee. He's in there with two monsters himself. I mean, Josh Briggs and Dijak are not the size of typical human beings. They're giants as well. 6'6", six, six, 270 pounds for Josh Briggs. 6'7", 265 for Dijak. And then, oh, Oba Femi, 6'6", six, six, 310, behemoth. Behemoth. But I, this is what I can't wait to see. What happens when Oba Femi is in the ring with two superstars that aren't looking up at him anymore? Two superstars that are on the same level as that giant. And Oba has been extremely confident, for good reason, defending this North American championship. 
But when you're going up against guys that can look you in the eye, that can threaten your size, does that take it to a whole nother level, Sam? I mean, I don't know. I've never been in the ring with anybody my size or any other size, but I will say that I think Josh Briggs is a real threat here. You look at somebody like that, who's got an opportunity like this afternoon uh, to make the biggest splash imaginable. It's the biggest match of this superstar's career. And today, he can have the whole world talking about him, winning a championship against a guy like Oba Femi and Dijak. WrestleMania weekend. It doesn't get any bigger. And he has good man manners. I suppose. Wonderful manners. I think that's the most important thing. Action is coming your way right here on Countdown to NXT Stand and Deliver. Sean Spears will be in action just a bit. Look at the focus wow. as he prepares wow. to take on Joe Gacy earlier today in Philadelphia. Braun Breaker and Baron Corbin checking out the sights. Here in the frozen city of Philadelphia, we had to have the cheese steak battle. Hats, roll it out. Chinos. Look at that. On a roll. It's a steak with Wiz, the only way to do it. Welcome to Philadelphia. Okay. Here we go, Pat's going in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. After eating this, you're going to look like me, buddy. Chinos. Oh. I got my weather already. I got mine. Which one is better? One, two, three. Pats. What do you want from me? I'm just. I'm... What do I get on the same page? I don't understand how we're friends or partners. Pats is so much better than Geno's. Pats the wolf dogs. Geno's Nathan and Axiom. I can't with you. What? It's simple. Simple. You left your sandwiches, you idiot. I'm full. You finish it. The man is coming around to WrestleMania to fight you. At WrestleMania. The man, Becky Lynch. I have been the backbone of this company. The man can do it all. The unstoppable Rhea Ripley. This is my division. Mommy is always on top. The fight comes to Philly. Rhea Ripley and Becky Lynch for the Women's World Championship. Behind every great man is a greater woman. WrestleMania, where the biggest stars shine under the brightest lights. And you know you can't spell WrestleMania without E-S-T. But that WrestleMania sparkle, it's been snuffed out by a whole other brand of E-S-T. The baddest, we need help. meanest, nastiest crew in WWE. They've grown in numbers, they've grown in dominance, and they've grown in championships. Damage control. <laughs> you want to talk about strength in numbers? These women are relentless. This is a message to all of them chicks in the locker room. We run the show. Kyrie Sane, Asuka, Dakota. A united front that is damage control. Yeah, they're a problem. You're in way over your head, dude. Practically <laughs> astute. Highly dangerous. Damage control have made the EST's life hell. And I know I can't do this alone. No way, no other answer. Me, I get what I want. If I'm gonna take care of this damage control problem at the show of shows, I need to show out with some backup that meets the EST stamp of approval. If I'm gonna shine, I need the brightest, the glow, Naomi. Two-time SmackDown Women's Champion. One of the most athletically gifted superstars WWE has ever known. I'm coming for you. 
This firecracker always has my back and is looking for her own retribution. Oh, here we go. The dreaded poison mist right to the eyes. We in this together, and we're gonna get them one way or another. And if I'm gonna bring the thunder, I need the storm. Jade Cargill. One of the most sought after free agents in sports entertainment history. This is a game changer in every sense of the word. I've seen what this warrior can do. This ain't a Spider-Man meme. And it's downright impressive. The storm has arrived. The ES team is locked, loaded, and ready to throw down. I don't play. I just play. And the Kabuki Warriors laying waste to the victor. Damage control, we've evened the odds. Everything we thought we knew about the women's division just changed. Wanna run? Got nowhere to go. The numbers game is no longer in your favor. Damage control, you've got a brand new problem. And come WrestleMania, the fastest, strongest, quickest, roughest, toughest, and freshest trio in WWE is taking you down. And we need to start rewriting the future. See you soon. We'd like to spend a special thank you to the Wonder Years for You're the Vulture, the official NXT loud theme song of NXT Stand and Deliver, available now on Apple Music and Spotify. Shop the largest collection of WrestleMania merchandise at the WrestleMania Superstore, currently taking over the Pennsylvania Convention Center in Philadelphia. The WrestleMania Superstore is your home for event merchandise, championship titles, WWE Superstar apparel, and so much more. Then head further inside WWE World to catch the WWE Superstars and Legends. Relive 40 years of WrestleMania history through impressive exhibits and so much more. Get your tickets now at fanaticsevents.com slash WWE. Dallas last week. Adrian, I need you to use your discretion tonight. We have to have a winner in the Trick and Mellow main event, okay? You got it, just like we talked about. Yep. We're here. It's the biggest show of the year, Stand and Deliver, so let's just let them have at it, and then use your flexibility. We really need a winner. No problem. I can do that for you. Okay, thanks. They are calling this one the biggest matchup in NXT history. Carmelo Hayes takes on his former best friend, Trick Williams, in our main event. But this is what it's all about. Ilya Dragunov's plate is full, and it's being served family style tonight. Tony D'Angelo looks to not only become the Don, but the champion of NXT. Power. A quality put to the test time and time again in the combative landscape of NXT. Two men look to clench that power, asserting their rule over NXT and each other. Long live the Tsar! Ilya Dragunov, a man who fought his way to the top of his homeland and then clawed his way across the Atlantic to prove his dominance here. Dragunov has done it! Through determination and an unfathomable fighting spirit, Ilya found his true power. I promise I will fulfill my destiny as NXT Champion! It's gonna take a hell of a man to take this championship off Ilya Dragunov. The NXT Empire had found a new leader, but others are not so quick to fall in line. There's only one man that can flip this on its head, and it's the Don of NXT. Tony D'Angelo, a self-made man, educated and molded while taking over the streets. And now, NXT. He's the boss of all bosses. Through grizzled know-how and ruthless means, 
the Don made himself a ruler in his own right. You got power, Ilya, but you don't got this kind of power. And now, he looks to unleash his end game. But my bed is clear. Look, this is about the NXT title. This is one power beyond your reach. I can end everything with the snap of my fingers. The Don is gonna reshape the landscape of NXT, just like Snap with your finger. Show me what you got, Don. I will. There's no doubt that the Don always oh, pulling the strings. You strike fear into the hearts of your opponents. But look at where you are. I could have taken you out at any point. This doesn't represent the end of you, Ilya. Not yet. No. I'm gonna do it while the whole world's watching this Saturday. It's stand and deliver. The Don is gonna end your reign, just like. The thirst for power cements one man as a ruler and breaks another into pieces. You do business with your family. I fight every single day of my life for mine. Tony D will break the unbreakable. The Don challenges the Czar and stand and deliver. The NXT title is on the line. Tony. I always find a way. These streets of Philadelphia are unlike any other. Rough, gritty, and no nonsense. Feels just like home. Tomorrow I got a shot at NXT champion Ilya Dragunov. Probably my toughest opponent yet. But a wise man once said, you gotta go through hell. Worse than any nightmare you've ever had before. But when it's over, you'll be the one standing. You know what you gotta do, right, Tom? Yeah. Win. You ready for this, Don? See you, champ. <laughs> what, what better motivation than the Italian stallion himself for Tony D'Angelo before he battles for the NXT Championship. So glad to have you back here with us on Countdown to NXT Stand and Deliver. I'm Megan Morant, he's Sam Roberts, and we are so glad to be joined by Ridge Holland. Ridge, fantastic seeing you here. Megan, Sam, it's awesome being here in Philadelphia for NXT Stand and Deliver. And I want to give Ava, the NXT GM, a big shout out, a big thank you for giving me the opportunity to be here tonight. Well, I, I have to ask you, Ridge, you know, um, as happy as we all are to have you here with us, is any part of this a bit emotional to experience WrestleMania weekend on the other side? It is very emotional, of course. I'd love to be in that ring competing, but I made the decision to step away for what's best for me and my family. So I'm excited to see what goes down tonight. Well, speaking of families and hey. what would be best for the family, of course, talking about Tony D'Angelo as he battles Ilya Dragunov for the NXT Championship. Ilya Dragunov has been a man that usually is a step ahead when it comes to psychological warfare. But Sam, it seems like that hasn't been the case. Listen, I saw Ilya Dragunov go to dinner with the family and for the first time, he looked out of place. He looked like he didn't quite know what he was in for. And I feel like Ilya, for the first time in a very long time, is walking to the ring in that position. I mean, Ridge, you've been in there with Ilya. You've had confrontations with Ilya. Do you think Tony D is playing this right? Look, Ilya's one of the toughest competitors on this planet. He is relentless. And Tony D is going to have to go to a different level mentally and physically if he wants to get the job done here tonight. Well, you have been to that level because you've taken out Ilya Dragunov before. Where did you have to go to get that strength to take out someone as powerful as the Mad Dragon? You've just got to match his intensity, match his physicality. He will bring it out of you. And tonight, he's going to bring it out of Tony D. But at some point, mind games aside, the bell is going to ring. 
Is Tony D'Angelo ready for the games to stop? You don't become the Don by mistake. You can't give yourself the title of the Don and expect everybody to just come along with you. The NXT universe has embraced Tony D'Angelo as the Don. They've accepted that he's the Don. You know why? Because if you don't accept that Tony D is the Don, there are consequences to pay. That is what Ilya is walking in for. And I wonder if, if, if Ilya doesn't realize that for the first time he has somebody that's not playing his game, that's not trying to match him, and that's maybe trying to force Ilya to match his game. It's going to take everything in Tony D'Angelo to come out as the NXT champion. We have to turn our attention to another matchup with all kinds oh. of brutality. A six-woman tag team matchup. Bia Hale teams up with Fallon Headley and Kalani Jordan to take on JC Jane, Kiana James, and Izzy Dame. This one made official this past Tuesday on NXT, and these women are absolutely ready for this one. We know there have been so many issues between Thea Hale and JC Jane, and those date back to their time together at Chase U. But now she has backup. She has some of the most powerful women, some of the future faces of NXT on her side. But Sam, I gotta ask you, what do, would a win do for whoever comes out on top of this matchup? A win would, would, would place this team in, in top tier position of the women's division. I mean, Philadelphia, what do we think of NXT's women's division? We're looking at six women who will one day have WrestleMania matches, all of them. So who's gonna be at the top of that division? To me, it feels like we're developing clicks within NXT, and we know clicks control things in NXT. Look who runs the show. I mean, Ridge, you know that finding somebody with, 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 with similar interests, with similar goals, you know helps. You know, having those people that are like-minded, that'll have your back and be there when you need them at the right place at the right time, it's integral for success in situations like this. Well, JC Jane and Thea Hale have certainly been through a lot. Let's take a look at how all of this started between two former friends. What's wrong with you? What did I do to you? I thought you were my sister, but I was wrong. And I am done! The whole thing hell is back, bitch! I tell you what, it's been so good to see Thea Hale back to herself. You know, although JC Jane was never truly Thea Hale's friend, I do think JC awoken something inside of Thea Hale. That could have been a mistake. It could have been a mistake. We heard the way the NXT universe reacted when we realized the old Thea Hale is back, and that is who we're gonna get this afternoon at Stand and Deliver. How, you've been through a lot. You've, you've been misled by different people. When you find your true self, how much can that motivate you and propel you to victory? It's the journey, Megan, getting there. That's the motivation, you know, going through the ups and downs, the peaks and troughs. But when you finally embrace who you truly are, sky's the limit. Well, I tell you about somebody who has been embracing who they truly are, and that is Joe Gacy. Joe Gacy <laughs> will be in action later on today. And there he is, locked in, focused, before his matchup against Sean Spears. Here at the Stand and Deliver Countdown. Let me holler at you for a minute. At WrestleMania, brother versus. This is surreal. Brother. Could be historic. I'm gonna knock the heat out your ass. Jey Uso, Jimmy Uso. These two brothers are gonna go face to face. Want me? Big bro, got you. Feel like a yes boy though, does it? 
Feels like a no boy. I know. No, no, no boy. No boy. WrestleMania without pretty deadly. I mean, it sounds like a crime to me, boy. And it's a little oh, suspicious. I hate to say the word. Conspiracy. Conspiracy. I think so. I think but, so. Moving on. It's a six-pack ladder match. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the competitors. All right, let's start with DIY. Yeah, yeah. Now look, I don't like them. I'm not, I wouldn't even say I'm a fan, but I do respect them. I respect them. You have to respect a father and son tag team. You have to. Because it... they're not father and son. What are you on about? Um, I think they are father and son. <laughs> they're not. So they're each other's dads. Oh my! Oh, why don't they talk about that more often? That's more impressive. Yeah. Okay. Next team. Next team. We respect oh them. My. But next team. Uh, New Catch Republic. That's a team. I'm afraid so. But you mentioned them earlier. I thought you were talking about the new khaki pants you bought. No? Nope. You mentioned them earlier. I thought you were talking about the new fishing legislation the government's trying to pass. I'll is wish. it not? I wish. You know who it is? What? It's Pete Dunay! Oh! The Pete rib of professional wrestling and tag yes. team. He just keeps coming back. He does. Oh. Hey. Can't shift him. Well, next. Mm -hmm. It's awesome truth. And if I can be serious for one moment. Please do. There's something seriously wrong with our truth. Oh. Mr. Pierce, I must say, your hair grew extremely fast. You come in with that British accent, man. Newsflash, idiot! I'm Australian! He's got the Miz to, like, care for him. Yeah. I mean, that's helpful, but... Oh, oh no, uh, you got... Yeah, yeah. I came to care! <laughs> that's really good. It is. The Judgment Day. The Judgment Day, yes. You know, they get the job done, but there's always this element of... Well, I don't want to say cheating, but there's an awful lot of deceit. There's a smell. There's yeah, a smell. right? Speaking of cheating, mm -hmm. let's mention Austin Theory. And Grace and Waller because down, down, a under. Down, down under because all they do is cheat. They think what because they're good looking guys, good oh, bodies. Nine's out of ten. I mean they get away with it because of you know the the it's pot kettle. Pot kettle, do you think? Hmm. The new day then, the new, the day. new day! The new day! The team that ruined I don't like them. our lives. They ruined I our like lives. Them. I don't like them. Do you know what? Are you gonna I say it? I feel confident, I feel strong, so I'm gonna because say it. Everyone's afraid to say it, but not Elton Prince. Not Come me. on, not me, Xavier Woods. Terrible trombone player. He's got uh, one. No, 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 what? He thinks he's Louis Armstrong. What? He thinks he's Roy Donk or Paul Bassano. Oh, come on. Get it's one no. One no. It's ridiculous. WrestleMania. The grandest stage of them all. Yep. Do you know what? It's irrelevant. Whoever walks out champions, mm -hmm. pretty deadly will be sitting, ready, and waiting. So good yeah. luck. Break a leg. <laughs> good luck. Break a leg. But also. A plague on both of the houses, boy! A plague? <sighs> yeah. I was sadistic. <laughs> Sometimes it gets you. You, you know? got me in the you mood. I'm back at it. Yes! You're a bit sadistic. Boy! Yes, boy! Yes, boy! Yes. Feeling good boy. again. Oh, my God, was it too evil? I'm back. No. Too evil? Not enough. Philadelphia has been waiting all week, and the time is here. The action coming from the Wells Fargo Center at NXT Stand and Deliver is coming your way. We've got a match coming up. Megan Morant, Sam Roberts, Ridge Holland, so glad to have you with us. We'd love to introduce you to our announced team, Booker T and Vic Joseph. Well, not only Vic Joseph and Booker T, but also Wade Barrett is joining us Wade as well. Right. And I want to, and so I want, glad to see you, Wade. And I want to say something to Rich Holland. It's good to see you, man. I hope everything's going well, and I hope to see you on many more countdown shows with us here in NXT. It's finished. He's done. That wasn't very polite. But we are ready to kick <laughs> things off here on a countdown to NXT. Stand in the loop. Truth will ultimately prevail. But there is pain. Sean Spears! Well, we're already off 
to a uh, quite a start here, Wade, because we already got Booker T yelling at Rich Holland. I was trying to be nice. What do you mean he's finished? Uh, you just heard them try to hold him back, too. I mean, he has been under a lot of emotional distress, courtesy of Look, look, look at it. They, they always say in this business, you never take yourself out of the game, right? Right? Ridge Holland took himself out of the game. Who are you going to blame? Who are you going to blame? Huh? Huh, Wade? Uh, Sometimes in life. Why are you yelling at us? Whoa, 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 whoa. Sometimes in life, you've got to take a step back to move 10 steps forward. I'm glad you I hope that is the case with Ridge Holland, because I miss that guy. Sean Spears' message has been clear. He wants to expose those for who they really are. And when you take a look at Joe Gacy, well, we've all kind of had a few questions about who exactly Joe Gacy really is. Rich Holland. Maybe Bucket T, Rich Holland has not fully taken himself out of the game. Wait, was it the old, the old bait and switch? Is that what you call it, Vic? Uh, the guy you were just putting over a second ago. Actually, a little stunned at those actions, but much like we saw on Tuesday, you know, I, I feel bad for Joe Gacy, but Gacy's not going to stay down. Much like against Oba Femi, when it was Sean Spears who attacked Gacy on Tuesday, Gacy willing to put pedal to the metal. This is how things started. Rich Holland, from the countdown Two. to stand and deliver position, as a host, dropped Gacy. Gacy trying his best now to fight back. It's Sean Spears from the top. You know, we talk about Sean Spears with that message to expose other, but Book, who really is Sean Spears? You know, I, I can't answer that question, but I, I tell you, I look in the eyes of Sean Spears and I see a very diabolical individual that's willing to do anything to win. Well, Gacy and Spears have had a uh, expedited rivalry. And, oh, again. And you got to think, too, since that chair shot from Rich Holland, which still has left me a little stunned, Sean Spears is now going to focus on that back. He's going to soften that back. He's going to weaken the back of Joe Gacy to set up for that C4. Gacy, he, he has that, that crazy, uh, that, that power. I mean, there's something about Joe Gacy. He's a little bit different. I see. Into the cover. Uh, as I said, he says he lost his flock. He's lost his way. But tonight, we're going to see if he can find his way here and stand and deliver. Does it hurt? Spears, the... Grim Reaper of NXT on his righteous path coming through the biggest mm, stand and deliver ever. Biggest WrestleMania weekend of all time. And hell of a way to look oh, back. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's a fight breaking out here. Of course, it's going to be a fight. These two men do not like each other based off of the fact Joe Gacy had a little fun with the steel chair. He took the chair from Sean Spears. He gave the chair right back. Granted, Wade, he threw it off the top of the performance Joe center. Gacy chose to mess with another man's Whoa. business. That's the problem here, and I don't blame Sean Spears for being absolutely livid. Wade, you know what? I, I agree. I agree 100%. That's going to be a long no, no, we, we talk about this all the time. Concern yourself with business that concern you, right, Vic? Well, look at the Boston crowd right now. The business now for Joe Gacy is to get out to find his way on, to the Joe. bottom rope, or will Joe Gacy tap no, out? Is the pain too much on the lower back? On, Can Sean go. Spears pick up a monumental win here on the countdown on, to stand and deliver? No! Cinchin, you can hear Gacy on, screaming Joe. right now in pain. On, Joe, huh? Yeah, it's really saying something. No, Joe no. Gacy is not oh, one no. who shies away from pain, Two, but three. finally getting himself to that what? bottom rope. Gacy in a bad way. So we've mentioned the countdown to stand and deliver. All four NXT championships will be defended here this afternoon, leading to WrestleMania Saturday. Just over 12 minutes to the biggest stand and deliver ever, as now the NXT Universe, which is still filing in, trying to rally behind Joe Gacy. And we know 
Gacy's a different breed. I mean, Wade, when you and I were calling NXT, he was on a different path. Yeah, no doubt about that. And I'm concerned about the fact that Sean Spears wants to expose who Gacy really is. I'm terrified who, of who Gacy really is. Well, is the guy is. he presents is scary enough. Oh, big right hand, creating a little separation. Gacy, no doubt, a different breed of superstar from the top. Rolled through by Spears. Oh. Cover, cover, and a kick so out. So close, so close. I got a chance to talk to Sean Spears just for a second, a few weeks back. And, and the, one, no, 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 the one thing Sean Spears said to me was, it's good to be home. He felt like he had a, a, a part in building NXT Vic. And we're going to see exactly how I play out for him. Well, Gacy requested this matchup. And, you know, that's that's a great point. Sean Spears no. wanting to be part of NXT. No. Everyone has their eyes on NXT. Everyone no. eyes on WWE. Everyone no. eyes on this weekend. Wade, how important is stand and deliver to these superstars on a massive weekend like we have in Philadelphia? Well, for a lot of the stars of NXT, it is the biggest, brightest spotlight they have ever had on themselves. Yeah. And it is a test to see if they can tolerate that intense glare of this weekend before bigger and better things will Will continue later in their career. Massive test for them. Talk about the intensity in this ring right now because you can see the welts on the body of Joe Gacy. How about the intensity in our main event this afternoon is Stan and Deliver Booker, oh. Carmelo Hayes, Trick Williams. I don't want to get too quick, too quick, but I got to say it. Shuggy, Duggy, Quack, Quack. It's going to be good. I cannot wait. Can't oh, use yeah. it again. Cover. Why? Count in Why another not? near fall. We can't fill. There's I'm only one it. spot on the I bingo card, Trust Booker. Me. I'm using it again later on tonight. Take a Trust look. me. Take a look at the athleticism of Joe Gacy. Gacy bringing his A game here tonight, and he's been behind the eight ball in this matchup because it was Ridge Holland's actions dropping Gacy surprisingly with a steel chair. Gacy, though, trying to rally here late. Oh, Spears saw it coming. Yes, indeed, right now. He's Caught on the wrong side of town right now. Spears about to take advantage of that, that hard side. Oh, oh, whoa. Innovation wow. from Sean Spears. And Spears, here it is, here it is. focusing on that right lower there. back. That's what I was talking about right there. That's the <laughs> toughest part of the ring right there. That ring apron, that's where the steel and that, 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 that wood meets it. It's a hard, hard spot for you. Trust me on that. Right, Wade? Go, talk to me, Wade. You feel me no on this? Well, you know, I don't know what the hell you feels can like. Yeah, trust me. Yeah, like I said, uh, Wade, you don't know about it. But no, I don't know about oh, it. Wade okay. does. Okay, you got it. You got Wade, it. I mean, come on. Defend yourself here. Intercontinental <laughs> champion, king of the ring. I, I, future Hall of Famer. <laughs> we, are we talking about me? I'm like talking about you. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate yeah, yeah. that. I, could, I didn't know if you were talking gotcha. about Buck. Whoa! Whoa! What a hangman DDT from the top into the cover. And Gacy able to kick out one more time. Y'all say something about the resilience of Joe Gacy, who's been up against it from the beginning, being able to withstand abuse like this from a very different kind of Sean Spears that we've ever seen before. That was innovative right there. Sean Spears, a truth seeker, but what truth is he seeking Whoa, out stalking. here this afternoon? And they're hoisting up Gacy. Could be looking for that C4. Gacy able to counter right in, able to catch, maybe looking for a Uranagi. Again, blocked, countered again, and this time, Whoa. Wow. Spears rolling through, but Gacy back up. Gacy now hoists up one more time, able to counter. Spears sits down, That's shoulders it. down, and another near fall. Man, man, I'm talking about the counter, double counters. Who's going to? Gotcha! Who's going to catch it? Who's going to catch it? He that caught him with all Could that, that Uranagi in the cover, it. and no. Oh, oh, that was close. We talked about who wants it more here leading into stand to deliver this tells me a whole lot about these guys right here in the middle of this ring right now willing to leave everything in the middle of the oh wow well, you got to it, it's, it's like wade said all eyes on this weekend for these superstars this is that first step to the next level the first step to immortality so to speak you start it here in nxt it could blossom to a wrestlemania moment which we're gonna have plenty of this weekend well, Sean Spears right now, he's thought he had the dice loaded from the beginning in this one. It's completely backfired. He's having what? to dig a lot deeper than he ever thought he'd have to. And Joe Gacy now oh. coming up with some sort of diabolical well, give Gacy plan. credit. He realized it wasn't going to work. Instead, hits a... Oh, and that time hit a sent time. Gacy changing the game. And maybe there is a little bit of brilliance in the mind of Joe Gacy. And he's definitely capable, Vic. I mean, you cannot... You know, uh, question his talent or anything like that. Oh. Definitely has the tools, but 
Casey yeah, yeah, went the, for broke. The, the stab and the, Wait a minute. Sean Sears. Oh, that's, that could be it. That could be it. He got all of it. Didn't get enough wow. as Gacy able again to kick out. And now you see is that doubt creeping into the mind of Sean Spears. What does Sean Spears need to do to put down Joe Gacy? Just keep the hammer down, man. That was an instinctual kick out right there. I think Joe Gacy is still dazed and confused, man. Booker's on another level right well, now. Spears we ain't even had an energy to drink dig yet. deep and get into those veteran instincts of his. And he's trying there with a super kick counter, though. Bouncing back is Gacy. Big right hand under the jaw. Trying to take oh, Spears yeah. to the upside down, but back to the lower back goes Spears. Hoisted up for that C4. Couldn't hit it for the third time. Gacy able to counter. And Gacy now upside down, inside out, into the cover goes Gacy. Big win on the countdown to stand and deliver. Big win. And what I'm most impressed with, Booker didn't call Joe Gacy Joe Coffee tonight. <laughs> well, that's a big win already at the kickoff of WrestleMania. I wrote Bam! it down. I wrote it down. Well, I'll tell you, you wonder what Sean Spears is going to write down after this matchup. Because Joe Gacy, even after getting dropped by Ridge Holland, comes out with a huge statement here at Stand and Deliver as we go back to our hosts, Megan Moran and Sam Roberts. Thank you so much, Big Joseph. Look at all the action coming your way, Sam Roberts. The NXT Championship is on the line tonight. Ilya Dragunov is defending against Tony D'Angelo. The NXT Women's Championship will also be defended as the relentless Roxanne Perez looks to end Lyra Valkyria's 163-day reign as your champion. This is what it's all about. Tommaso Ciampa called it the biggest NXT match in history. Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams one on one in our main event. Woo! And Meg, that match, that match is what it's all about. That match is the reason why today there are more people who paid to be in this building than any other NXT building in the last five years. They're on the floor, they're in the 100s, they're in the rafters, they're everywhere to find out who sits on the throne. Well, Sam, you hit it right there. You said Tommaso Ciampa called this matchup the biggest matchup in NXT history. That means a lot coming from a man like Tommaso Ciampa. Is this the biggest matchup in history. Tommaso Ciampa is the guy who, in my opinion, has held that title, the guy who participated in what is, in my opinion, the biggest match that NXT has ever had. If he is telling you that tonight that crown goes to two more superstars, then tonight I think you're guaranteed that that crown goes to two new superstars. We've seen both of these men have the upper hand in certain situations, but Sam getting down to business, who walks away the victor tonight? Carmelo Hayes is him, but I think NXT belongs to Trick Williams. What do we think? Yeah. Hard to deny it. We know that all of Philadelphia and the NXT universe will be Woo. chanting whoop that trick is one for the ages. Everyone enjoy Woo! all of the action. Woo! NXT Stand Deliver here. starts now. Everyone stand and watch him deliver. And when Carmelo Hayes shoots, I don't miss. I say, yo, trick. And that's all it is, man. That's all it's gonna be. Are you about it? Oh, I'm about it, about it. What happened to you, Trick? You went from being my hype man to believing your own hype. Let's talk about it. We weren't building a dynasty. I was, and I allowed you to carry the bricks. But you got greedy. Hey, question, Cena. Yeah. When did you know it was your time? You wanted to bite the hand that beat you. I want that! You went after something that belonged to me. And at that very moment, I knew I had to do what I had to do. So 
some trick. Wherever you at, stay there. Because your 15 minutes is up. just for you to stab me in mine. And you're gonna pay for that. I stand and deliver, and I'm gonna pay you back for everything that you did to me. For two years, Melo, I had your back. With a smile on my face, yeah. because that's what brothers do. Look, I was so you can be whatever you want in life, but now I see that they was feeding me lies. They were all cops. Trick, you are not on my level. As a matter of fact, you're not even on the level below me. You can't stop. Can't you got. You and you got me, it's like two Ferraris, but the difference is that only one of us drives like that. What you know about being the guy they put on posters? The guy that's responsible for selling tickets? What you know about doing media? What you know about being him? You are my best friend. You are my brother. So you want to go to war, Melo? We're going to go to my streets. We're going to the city of brotherly love. We're going to go to Philly, the streets I know. There's no turning back now because Trick wants his pound of flesh, and it's up to Trick to figure out how far he's willing to go. This one here is personal. Mello, <laughs> I'm coming for you. It is going to be one hell of a way to start off WrestleMania weekend with Carmelo Hayes versus Trick Williams. Trick, you thought Vengeance Day was bad. Imagine what's going to happen when I have you for 20 plus minutes in the main event of Stand and Deliver, the biggest show of the year. You want a war, Melo? Well, we're going to go to war. That's all it is. And that's all it's going to be. Give me the crown. Give me the crown. weekend of the year the superstars of nxt stand and deliver 